For blood test number four in 2023, for a July 5th test, I sent blood to Ginfinity for NAD analysis to test the hypothesis that 600 milligrams of nicotinic acid per day for nine days before the test would raise NAD. And in an earlier video, we saw that to be true as it raised the 267.4 micromolar. That value is about two to three times higher than my baseline level of NAD without any NAD precursors of 20 to 25 micromolar, which is a relatively low value. But on the same day as that test, we also saw that my epigenetic pace of aging, <clears throat> as measured by Dunedin Pace, was also my worst to date. And I learned that by sending blood to True Diagnostic. And if you want to measure your own NED levels or your epigenetic pace of aging, discount link in the video, video's description for both of these uh, tests. So in terms of the Dunedin Pace value, it was 0.98 which means that for every one year of chronological aging, there's one year of an epigenetic pace of aging, so epigenetic aging. Now, ideally, we want to be at around 0.6, which is the slowest epigenetic pace of aging. So this is a bad result. And it then raises the question, is this a nicotinic acid-induced outlier? So to evaluate that, let's take a look at all of my data for the first nine tests that covered 2022 and 2023, for Dunedin pace of aging and changes over time. So first we can see that that outlier of, or potential outlier of 0.98 and the rest of my data, which is not close to 0.98, but that doesn't tell us if that's an outlier or not. So the average eight test average for Dunedin pace without the 0.98 is 0.80. And when calculating the standard deviation, which is 0.043 for these eight tests, when multiplying that by four, we can see that 0.98 is more than four standard deviations from the average. Generally, more than three standard deviations from the average is considered an outlier, so this data point of 0.98 is indeed an outlier, potentially or probably caused by high-dose nicotinic acid. But it also raises a different question. Did high-dose nicotinic acid mess up the needed pace, or is it just a matter of NAD being too high? So to test that, if I increase NAD, to also greater than 60 micromolar, will Dunedin pace again look like an outlier? So the first half of that experiment, those results are in. For a December 11th test, I supplemented with two grams of NMN per day for 11 days before this test. I sent blood to Genfinity for NAD analysis, and then we can see that I was able to raise NAD again to 61 micromolar. Now, unfortunately, the second half of this experiment, the results are not yet in from True, Di True Diagnostic, those results are expected on January 10th, so as soon as I get that data, I'll make a video relatively shortly thereafter. But we can all, what we can also learn from these results is that at least in my case, for increasing NAD, 2,000 milligrams of NMN per day is about similar to 600 milligrams of nicotinic acid. In other words, a relatively lower dose of nic nicotinic acid raises NAD to at least the same ballpark as 2,000 milligrams of NMN. And even even taking it a step further, in an earlier video, we saw that I was able to raise NAD to around 40 micromolar with just 60 milligrams of nicotinic acid per day. And with no flush, there is flushing, or for me at least, there was flushing at 600 milligrams per day. Whereas it took 1,000 milligrams per day to raise NAD to around 40 micromolar. So in that case, around 60 milligrams of nicotinic acid is similar, similar to 1,000 for NMN for raising NAD to around 40 micromolar. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for NAD, epigenetic testing, oral microbiome composition, at-home metabolomics, at-home blood testing with CyFox Health, which includes ApoB, diet tracking, green tea, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, that link and all the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.